Avacodas and welcome to the unique words challenge. So we need to write a Python function to count unique words and number of their occurrence in the text. So as the input, our function will receive a path to the text file or the text file itself. And output is going to be total number of words, top 20 most frequent words and number of occurrences for the top 20 of these words. In other words, how many times those top 20 words occurred in the text. So let's briefly have a look at the example. So here we'll have our function called something like count words that will receive a path to the file shakespeare.txt and here are the top 20 words in this file together with the number of how many times these words occurred in the text. Right, so try to solve it yourself and later on I'll show you my solution. It might not be the best one, but it does the job. So, but before I'll do that, I can hear your question, where can I take this file from? Well, use your own text file or alternatively go to the shakespeare.mit.edu where you can get those pieces written by Shakespeare. So, good luck. All right, so here is my solution. I've decided I'm going to use the Google Colab because here we can upload our file shakespeare.txt from my local drive. The only thing to remember and Colab will remind us is that if we'll restart the runtime, everything will be lost. All right, so and once it will appear on the left side of the Colab, I can collapse that part and start working on our function. Right, first of all we'll need to import the regular expressions or the regex module, import our e, and as well we'll need to import the counter from the collections module. And once we are done with that we can get on with the function. So I will define it as aforementioned count words function and it will receive path as the input. So as you might guess, path will represent the path to the actual file. And we're going to use the context manager to open the file. The encoding is going to be UTF-8, of course. So next, what we need to do is we need to find all words within the text. And I'm going to use the regular expressions for that. So the pattern itself will look for any number of letters, numbers, hyphens, or apostrophes. So I convey the information I need to search for in the file with this sort of pattern. And once we've done that, we need to convert all words we find in the file into the uppercase. And once again, I'll store the result in the all words. And finally, we'll print the length of this list, which indicates the number of words that was found. Next, we'll create a new counter object. And then using the for loop, we're going to iterate through the list of all words and increment our counter anytime we meet a unique word. And finally, we're going to print the top 20 words that occurred in the text together with the number of times they have occurred in the text. And I'm going to use the most common method to do that. All right, and now that we're ready, we can call the function. So count words, and I'll pass the Shakespeare txt, which I store in my call up. So in my case, I don't need to provide the path because my path is just the name of the file. It sees it locally, but I forgot the uh, single quotes. All right, so here we can see the total number of words in the file shakespeare.txt along with the top 20 words and the number of times they occur in the text. Once again, this is just one of the possible solutions, but I hope you have uh, had fun uh, solving it yourself. And anyway, please give this video emperor's thumbs up, toll the bell and subscribe to the channel. That was V.
Thank you and goodbye. Thank you.